What is up, everyone? This is Sorkin090, and this is going to be Operation Bedrock number 196, 196th episode of the Operation Bedrock series. A series where our friends and I were going to be mining the entire world until there's nothing but bedrock left, except for the floor, of course, because we need something flat to walk on. And I was just so close of actually saying the intro without messing up, but that's nothing new. I always mess up my intros. Uh, one day I'll finally get it down, and then I'll never make a mistake ever again, but that is just unlikely. That's just unlikely as me winning the lottery and one day I may win the lottery and if I do win the lottery I'm gonna be very very happy because I'll be able to actually move out I'll be able to actually make my own studio type of deal and then what I'm gonna do for the rest of my life is just make videos just for fun I won't even have to care about making a living off of videos anymore because I'll be able to actually just live the rest of my life just being happy to make videos and entertain people, whether it be live streams or anything in the mix. And I do know exactly what I'm going to do with the money. I'll be, first of all, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and move out, buy myself a house, set up a studio, have my friends come over. We'll be making videos all day, every day, live streaming, just having fun and making videos and entertaining people. And then for the other parts of the money, I'm going to give a a lot to my friends and family and then whatever's left over i'm going to put in investments and savings and make sure i'll be able to pay the bills on time and also i'm going to have a family of foxes because by all means i have all the money right there depending on how much i win but i'm still gonna have a family of foxes because i will finally be able to own a fox as a pet and i'm gonna be very very happy about that and then the backyard is just gonna be all together pretty much like a roaming grounds for all the foxes to run around so so that'd be my dream house. <laughs> what can I say, people? What can I say? If I ever win the lottery, it's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to donate a lot of money to charity and whatnot. Probably just go ahead and just... I give some monies to people that I like and enjoy watching so that they could actually be on the right foot and then they could continue on doing what they do and just all together share the love share the wealth why don't I but in any case that's exactly what I'm going to do with the money so there we go hopefully fingers crossed I win the lottery one of these days if so then hooray if not then oh well <laughs> anyways so what am I doing in this episode is that I am getting a lot of levels due to the fact that I need to repair my pickaxes and my shovel that I got my efficiency 5, so touch 1, and I'm breaking 3, and as well as my efficiency 5, so touch 1, and I'm breaking 3 shovel. I've been doing a lot of work when it's coming into the last three layers of the world. I've been doing a lot of work. So, in, in that res retrospect, yes, I am doing a lot of work behind the scenes. And for this video, I'm just showing you like 15 minutes. I did get the hiccups right then and there. And I hate getting hiccups. It's just so annoying whenever it happens. But I can never ask for a perfect take, so I deal what I have right now. So, what in other news is that some people want to know about the live stream. Yes, it's going to happen one of these days. I don't know exactly when it's going to happen. That when I planned on having it happen, things didn't go so well. One of my friends was busy. The other one had a family emergency. So, we actually had to postpone the live stream until another time. And whenever we could actually find those times, that's going to be up to question. Maybe I'll be able to do a, like the 100 Withers solo and then have a commentary or having a group live stream going afterwards because I already have nearly two stacks. I already got a skull for crying out loud. I nearly have two stacks of Wither Skulls and all I need is just another two and a half really. Just another two and then 44 more but yeah i pretty much am getting a lot of skulls as we speak and as well as i want to at least achieve my goal of getting a full chest full of efficiency five unbreaking three and so touch one pickaxes if i were to be able to get that i'm pretty sure we're going to be set for life because the lowest level for repairing or at repairments repairing the, the pickaxes is level five if i'm not mistaken then it goes to seven then it goes to nine eleven thirteen fifteen seven 17, 19, 21, 23, 25, 27, 29, 31, 33, 35, 37, and I think the highest is actually 39 before it becomes too expensive. So, in that, in that logic, pretty much we will be set for a very, very long while. We got at least a good 10 full enchantment uses out of it, at least 10. I'm just going to go by that because it's easier to do the math right there. Oh, look at that, another skull. And as well as if you have on breaking three, it times the uh, uses by a good old three times, of course. And as far as I know, as far as I remember, you get at least 6,000 uses out of an Unbreaking 3 tool. So, hey, look at that, another skull. Look at that, people. I am getting lucky when it's coming to skulls. Hooray. It's just going to get my little live stream 
going a lot faster there. So yeah, if I get enough, if I get enough for a good old hundred withers solo, then I will do that for a live stream. Because why not? I promised a live stream like that. I will deliver a live stream like that, and then another time, then I'll have the group going. So. That could be a thing. Episode 1 and Episode 2. And I'm going to get a lot of beacons. And then once this world is actually up for download, then all of you guys can have all those beacons. So, it works out for everybody in the end. Okay, alright. So, yeah, I do promise to do a live stream. Hopefully, we'll be able to actually find the time to do the live stream. Because, of course, everybody's busy. Everybody has their own time zone. Has their own time schedule. Has their own th things to deal with. So... It's going to be a little bit of a while before I'll be able to actually get that accomplished. I just really want to get that collaboration going. And speaking of collaborations, I'm going to be part of a project that has to deal with RuneScape. If you guys don't know, I pretty much originated from RuneScape. That's where Sorkin 090 came from. So... Pretty much, I've been a RuneScape person for about a good eight years before I quit because it just became too much because I just didn't like the changes and everybody else was leaving. But one of our good friends, or acquaintances, now become great friends because we met each other a long time ago, but we just really didn't talk to each other. But then when he actually made the project to actually bring back a lot of the old video makers, yes, a lot of people from Minecraft that you know today actually came from RuneScape if you were to actually follow the roots. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I did not appreciate that. But a lot of people that you know on Minecraft pretty much came from RuneScape. So it's all good and hard to know that a lot of people who are on Minecraft are actually coming back to RuneScape just to help out on the project. But if you actually look up Pharaoh RS, F E R O R S, then you'll be able to see that he's making a brand new series, bringing back a lot of the OG video makers back in the day, way back in the community days where a lot of people made, you know, machinimas and things like that, just acting videos and things like that, and I am proud to say that I'm being a part of that, and they asked me to join along, and I said yes, because it's like, it's all good memories, it's all good nostalgia, I'll be able to actually finally use my character again, and as well as be a part of the series, so it's a good old project, is that it involves 13 people up against each other, pretty much, it's more like a Hunger Game-esque type of deal, but all it is is that if whoever's the last one standing will become God's Apprentice, and then they'll have any power that they want to have. So it's going to involve 13 characters. I'm not the main character, but I'm part of the actual storyline and plot. So that's going to be very, very interesting. And especially when I'm able to actually voice act in it. So I get to play as myself and as well as I get to voice act as myself. And I really need practice to actually do some more voice acting. Because when I read the lines, it's like, okay, I cannot be like a cheery person. I got to be more of like... How do you say? How do you say without spoiling a lot of things? Just let's just say that I'm, I don't have to be cheery in saying those lines. Because otherwise it's not going to actually fit the character well. So I'm just very, very happy to actually be a part of that series. And again, look it up if you wish to. If not, then I'll actually have the description links and the, uh, well, I just said it. Redundancy. I'll have the links in the description below for you to actually check it out. So that if you want to follow along with the series, then you may do so. Just don't rush the creator because it's a big project, especially when you're going to have a lot of people joining in. For crying out loud, you already got 13 main characters, and now you're involving side characters as well. So I'm just happy to see that a lot of people who were back in the day of doing RuneScape videos are actually participating in it. Whether they be main characters or side characters, it's just all together fantastic. If you're a person who actually played RuneScape back in the day, then you probably would recognize some of these video makers and as well as some new video makers. But all together, it's just great. I'm just happy to I'm just happy to see and I'm just happy to know that they have not forgotten me and they asked for me to actually join along and I'll be able to actually do so. Just a little bit of networking right here. Collaboration is always key to having fun on YouTube. I just hope my character does not die within the first season, I'll tell you that for a fact. Otherwise, that's going to be short-lived. Maybe I could actually voice act a different character, but I have no idea how to actually go around that. But again, it's all going to be practice. I need to practice some voice acting. Uh, I don't want to give any examples here because I'm kind of embarrassed. I'm kind of shy when it comes along with that. And unless it's on live stream, of course, then I will just say whatever just because. Maybe if I play video games and then I'll just voice act what I think the video characters, video game characters sound like, then that could be a start. 
even if it sounds obnoxious and just altogether maybe annoying, but it's all practice. A lot of voice actors have to do these type of things just to nail down the character because probably some of the voices that you did not think that they were voices probably would have been different if they just decided to do a different route. <laughs> Can you imagine one of the characters having a different voice? I'm trying to remember the example of Shrek. Because before Mike Myers, it was somebody else. I don't remember the name on the top of my head. But since uh, sadly the character or the person actually passed away before the whole thing was actually produced. That's when they actually had to change characters or change voice actors. And now the voice that you hear today is totally different. And what was the other one? I think that Over the Hedge was another example that as far as I remember, don't quote me on this. But I think that Jim Carrey was supposed to be the voice actor of the raccoon. And, god dang it, I don't remember the name. I honestly don't know the name. It's kind of embarrassing to even use that example if I don't remember, but you guys know the raccoon, right? But in any case, is that Jim Carrey was the original voice actor before they changed it to Bruce Willis. So can you imagine if they would have had a different voice altogether? It just wouldn't really seem to fit the plot and to, to fit the story character development type of deal. So yeah, voice acting does make a huge difference. For crying out loud, just look at Steve Blum, the voice of Toonami and the voice of a lot of anime, the voice of Spike for crying out loud. Can you imagine anybody else actually being a different voice actor for Spike? It just wouldn't even sound right anymore. But gotta love Steve Blum. No one could replace Toonami. And you gotta love the internet for bringing Toonami back to good old Cartoon Network or Adult Swim actually. But what I'm excited for Adult Swim is for them to bring back Samurai Jack. <laughs> that series did not get a proper ending and now it's going to be picked up. I cannot wait to see that. That was one of my childhood shows, man. <laughs> Just one of those shows that I wanted to see the ending to it. And one of the other shows that actually made use of the Roman numerals that I actually had to memorize what, which episode is which. That was actually pretty good. I like that. I honestly did like that. Some people may find it annoying, but for me, I absolutely enjoyed that. So, yeah, new shows, new things. And not like the Powerpuff Girls. That reboot, no, no thank you. Oh, why they gotta ruin such good shows just to sell merchandise? Everyone knows it doesn't go well. For crying out loud, they canceled the Young Justice League due to the fact that the merchandise didn't sell well. Why? Oh, well... Life happens, guys. Life happens. Oh, look at that. Another skull. How much is that? Or how much? Ah, how many is that now? Four skulls? Sweet. And I got a lot of stuff here. I need to get rid of all this stuff. I don't want all that stuff. I want coal because I'm going to need to make a lot of torches. And I already got like two chests full of coal. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to be well, well enough on torches. But you can't ask. You cannot ask for too much, too many coal, right? Or too many torches you're gonna need a lot of them especially when you see all the mining we have done within the last three layers of the world yes it's gonna be that necessary okay all right all right so let's see let me oh look at that another skull why thank you good sir why is it that whenever i'm live streaming killing the withers i'm or wither skeletons i'm not able to get a skull but when it comes to actually making an operation bedrock episode for crying out loud it's a good 15 minutes of good old like you know recording good 15 to 20 minutes of recording then i'll be able to get that i don't know but one of the things i'm very very happy to announce is that i finally got a brand new chair and pretty much it is a high back chair with a headrest so now i'll be able to lean back and just enjoy gaming without straining my neck or hurting my back because the old chair that i had you know how squeaky it was you know how noisy it was that every time when i move it'll make a noise but this one doesn't really make a noise especially when it's brand new i'm scooting back i'm scooting forward you probably will hear the trash bag that's on the floor right now because I forgot to pick that up, but overall, it's not that noisy. It's brand new. I love it so much. It's very, very comfortable that I'll be able to adjust the height of the seat and as well as I can actually lean back and lock it in place. So I can actually lay back playing a video game and enjoy it while my head's on the headrest and I don't have to worry about neck strain or anything. Also, it is a mesh chair so that, of course, throughout long like video game sessions, then I just don't have to worry, worry about good old heat and things like that. The only thing I'm going to have to worry about is when I actually am recording and I have the fan off. That's when heat builds up. 
Especially during the summer, for crying out loud. God dang it, I wish it was winter already when I could actually enjoy this. But overall, I'm very happy with the chair. It cost me a lot of money. It cost me $160. But in overall, it was long overdue. The old chair I had, I would say it's probably a good five years old. It was time for an upgrade, especially when it was actually hurting my back after a long, long, long while. So, it's a good investment. I just gotta have to take great care of this chair. I am not gonna use it as a clothing rack or anything else. So, let's just leave it as that, that I enjoy this chair. You can even lift up the armrest. You can lift it up and get it out of your way, then you can just, you know, do, like, sit cross-legged on your chair and just enjoy sitting back, relaxing, and having fun playing video games games. I, all I can say is that it's going to be more comfortable doing live streams with this chair, especially when it's not going to make that much, much noise while I'm actually trying to move about, especially when after sitting on the old chair for a very long time, it gets uncomfortable. It hurts my back and things like that. And look at that, another skull. Now I can actually summon two withers. Awesome. But yeah, all I could say is that I got a good old minute left before I could actually end off this commentary. Otherwise, then I'll probably risk myself dying from these. Oh my god, another skull. God dang, I am so lucky today. But yeah, I gotta repair my tools. I gotta repair everything I have around here. And I'll end off the video, see if I can actually repair all three tools. If so, then hooray. Oh my god, another skull? Are you kidding me? I am very happy about this. This is a successful run if I do say so myself. Seriously, 8 skulls in a 20 minute recording no less, even though I'm probably going to do a little bit of jump cuts and then it's probably going to decrease down to 17 minutes as of this point, but still, my gosh. I just love it. I just love it so much. This is a great way. Oh my god, a little bit of a lag spike right there. This is, oh, another one. But this is a great way to actually get a lot of skulls. All you need is good old potions. Well, excuse me. So yeah, you need your sharpness. Even though smite will actually work. Go away. Got your sharpness. Unbreaking 3, looting 3. That's the main length of our... Smite 5, Smite 5, Sharpness 5, doesn't matter, and you get a looting 3, and as well as Unbreaking 3, and then you get your Potion of Strength that will last 8 minutes due to you using the uh, the Redstone Dust with the potions, and as well as Potion of Fire Resistance, so you can actually attack and kill the Blazes without worrying about dying or catching a flame. So, that's what you really need, and it's very, very useful. Within a good old 8 minute session, you probably will get yourself a good old maybe 3 to 4 Skulls. Especially with me, I actually got 8 skulls within 16 minutes. So yeah, it's pretty good. Excuse me. Okay. So, we're almost to level 30. I want to get to level 29 and actually escape here. Because it seems like I'll be able to get that with the 5 the skeletons that I see right in front of my face. So this is number 1. Okay, come on buddies, come on buddies. Let's go. Oh, I almost got you. So that's 2 and 3 and 4. Excuse me, excuse me. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Don't be shy. Okay, we're already at level 29, so maybe that'll actually work. Maybe that will. Are you going to attack me? Are you going to attack me? If you if you go after me, I'm going to kill you. Oh, yep, you went after me. Okay, self-defense. Self-defense. He was charging at me. I have no other choice. And more, more coal. I'm not going to lie. That's actually pretty good. Especially when I'm going to need all that coal for all my torches. And as well as smelting everything. When I'm going to be live streaming all the resources that you have seen before in the last quadrant. I'm going to live stream that solo to just put everything to rest. That this is how much resources you could actually possibly find within the layers that I show you guys. Especially with all the diamonds. I can't believe how many people think that you cannot find a thousand diamonds. I'll put that to rest. Anything I find, times it by four, and then maybe just put a good, maybe like a hundred more blocks. And then that's pretty much a good accuracy right there. And I say maybe because we already did all the different types of mining first before we actually sectioned out every single thing. But I digress. We're getting off topic now. It's time to actually fix up all of my tools. So let's hope that I have enough levels to do so. Okay, all right. Just put that away, put that away, and... I don't, I don't need all of this because I got enough. <laughs> Honestly, when you're at the point where you have enough not to even worry about it, then you know you're at a good spot or you're at a good position. All right, eight skulls. That is beautiful, 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 beautiful. Look at that. Almost two more, almost two stacks. And also I have all these block of irons because I actually went to my old stash of two chests full of 
iron blocks or iron bars, my mistake, and just started it to make some, you know, blocks so that I could actually make some beacons. And truth be told, I pretty much already filled up every spot of the last quadrant with beacons, so I actually don't have any more room for beacons. Unless if I make some speed beacons, then that'll be a different story. I should do that. I should just make level or tier 1 beacons and start making all of them speed beacons. Because why not? Okay, alright. And I also have some good spots to even put the beacons at. I should do that. Okay. This is why I make I love making long commentaries. Because I just start thinking things that will make sense and I could actually do. Even though it actually drags the commentary up a little bit longer than I anticipate. But you guys appreciate that, right? I hope you do. If not, then I'll cry. But in any case, let's go ahead and start preparing our tools. So let's see. Oh, wait a second. Anvil. Thank you. <laughs> I need to go back to my Iron Golem farm and make, and make more anvils. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And then 17 levels. Oh my god, you're... Okay, so I'm... So what I said earlier about the whole level up by two, that's out of the question. Last time, it was actually nine levels, if I'm not mistaken. All right, how about you? How about you, buddy? Oh, snap. Okay, 17 levels. God dang it. Okay, so I'm going to have to make some more rounds, killing all the wither skeletons and just fixing up my tools. Okay, good to know. Last one, I think it was a little... Uh, yeah, I was level 9 last time, now I went to level 17, so they actually did make a good balance with that. So I'm guessing that at least I'll be able to repair my tools at least a good 5 times before I can't repair them anymore. But, I digress, again, I'm going to have to do more, kill, uh, more kills on the skeletons. But until then, that is it for today, so... Yeah, in a recap, I'm going to have to do some more live streaming. We're going to have to postpone the other live stream, I can make my solo live stream, but until then... I still want to do the whole group commentary live stream, and I'm part of a brand new series. I really hope that the episode is coming out soon, just the links will be in the description below. And I got a new chair. What else is for me to talk about? I don't even know right now. So that's all I got to say for now. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. If you're brand new to the channel, please subscribe. And until then, and hopefully next week, I'll show you guys more progress. And especially when I'm going to do some live streaming and Operation Bedrock to show you guys the progress anyways. All right. All right. Have a great day, everyone. I am SorkeenZero90. And as always, I will see you in the next video.